is no other than the Princeton Tigers. Ranked 24th in the preseason AP poll, which I think is really neat to see. Steve, I know you're a huge fan of Princeton. They got some early, initially when I looked at the schedule, the biggest thing that came out to me is, man, they bring back some good starters. This team mm-hmm. can really take off and do some big things, but they're going to be challenged right away. We talk about you know some really fun games at the beginning of the season. Well, on the women's side, they involve Princeton. We're going to see them challenged right off the bat, some early season schedules against Connecticut, which we talked about earlier, and Texas, which we talked about earlier. Both those in our 10-team preview, both those teams really can, can do some fantastic things. Can Princeton find a way to win against either of those teams and find themselves in good position as we head to March? I think they're going to be in great position come March. I think that they are by far the class of the Ivy League. The top schedules are design. It's not a shock. It's not a surprise. This is what they want to do. They realize that in order for them to do damage in the tournament later, they have to see what they're going to face, what they may be up against in the tournament. They're not going to be a two seed or a three seed. They're probably going to be middle of the pack. You know, they might be a 12 seed or an 11 seed, you know, but by facing teams that simply have more depth, and more four and five star recruits than Princeton will ever get. Because again, Princeton academics is what gets you into Princeton, not your jump shot. Okay. Not your ball handling skills. It, it's an academic first institution. And not that other schools like Duke or Stanford, Notre Dame, there's a, like Northwestern, there's a lot of schools out there that academics are much tougher than some of their competitors in their own conferences. But Princeton does this year in, year out, because they want to see this is where you need to develop. This is where you need to get to in order to come tournament time. If you're taking care of business in the Ivy League and we get the automatic bid, you're going to know, okay, maybe we failed in this game against UConn, or maybe, you know, you know, maybe we couldn't, you know, beat whoever might be on the schedule. But come tournament time, you know what you need to do now. And they're preparing themselves in practice, not just for who they're playing in the Ivy that week. They're preparing themselves for what they will face in the tournament. I think Princeton being ranked this low will change as the year goes on. I think you can see them sneak in the 15 to 20 range. Uh, That would not surprise me. And that would obviously do wonders for their tournament seeding. But it, it's a nod to me because I'm a Princeton sports fanatic. So, so Christian, you were kind enough, you know, showing respect for your elders to let us talk about Princeton. <laughs> but Princeton's the kind of program that one team or two teams every year in the tournament, on both sides, but especially on the women's side, come out of nowhere and you're wondering, you're like, well, where'd they come from? South Dakota State's another program. I mean, you can go through and just schools get into that tournament and they play tougher schedules out of conference schedules. And then suddenly it's like, well, wait a minute, how, how did they beat this team from the ACC or the Big Ten or the, you know, the Big East or whatever it would be? That's why I wanted to talk about Princeton to kind of encourage those of you, especially those of you that are, that are not already uh, regular fans of, of the women's game. Don't just look at the major conferences. It's 15 years ago. Yeah. You had to, you had to focus on the major conferences and maybe there'd be some good stories here and there, but you really have to look top to bottom, all the conferences, there's going to be one player or one team that you say and say, wow, I had no idea about them. And Princeton's sort of the poster child for that kind of team. 